Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the gallery block in Cadence. This is a video part of a mini-series taking a look at Cadence blocks one by one. To get started let's open up a brand new blank page to look at this block on its own. So there's a couple ways to open that, uh, open a new page and the first is if you're on your front end that is your main website and you're logged in, hover over new in your top toolbar and click on page. Alternatively, if you're on your dashboard, head over to your left hand sidebar, down to pages and click on add page. Before we move forward, let's do some housekeeping. If this right hand sidebar isn't here, click on this button called settings beside publish and it'll appear and this is where all of our settings to toggle and configure for the block will appear. And let's go ahead and give our page a title. Just to keep things organized, and last but not least, let's add the block itself. Click on this blue button called Block Inserter, and we can either search for the block or scroll down. But since Cadence Blocks is right here, we don't have to go down too far, and it's right here. Either click on it or drag and drop it into your workspace. You can see you have a bunch of options here, but first let's select our images. So let's click on Select Images, and it opens up our either. We can either upload, use a media library, or something else if you have a plugin for that. And let's go ahead and just select these images that came with the starter site. And these are just stock images. And we can put captions on these. But we'll do that manually later. And we'll show you how. But it's best to do that while we're here. Let's click on Insert Gallery. And let's close up our block inserter to give ourselves some room to work with. And you can see we have all of our images here. So that's uh, nine images in total. And we can go ahead and change the gallery type. And we have a few to choose from. We have a fluid carousel and we have slider. We also have normal carousel. And these two are grayed out, uh, probably because they're pro features. And we can also change um, how big the columns are. Uh, individually. Um, these have the same image size so that's why you don't see them. I'm giving the masonry effect so we'll probably go with uh, fluid carousel for this. Just keep things uh, more organized and you can see they all have their different um, options here for how they look like. But let's go with fluid carousel and it's a bit easier to manage. Now let's change our minimum height and then we can also change our mode, uh, center mode. We can also change the thumbnail image sizes. We can also reverse the image order um, in order of, of selecting them. We also have carousel settings, right? We can also change the autoplay speed and transition speed, right? We can also make it super fast. So we'll probably stick with something like this and that's fine. And we can also change our arrow styles. We can also change our dot style. There you go. We can also enable lazy load to keep things a bit organized, uh, optimized, excuse me. We can also add a link to an attachment page, a media file, a custom, or none. We'll keep it on none. And we can also show the captions. Now, if we clicked off, well, here we have our our caption um, and we can move that around and you can see um, if you clicked on this it moves it around and if you clicked on X it would actually delete the whole thing so let's call this and there's how it looks like when we hover over them these ones are blank and we can also show always uh, bottom of war show always cover image right and we can also change the caption color. We can make it bright and then our background really dark. Just to illustrate these things, right? And let's go back down here. Actually, probably make it a bit <laughs> lighter. Okay. And we can also change the font. And the font weight and the letter spacing 
depending on how readable you want to make it. Next we have style. We can also add a border radius to this whole thing. And you can see they're in like tic-tac shapes now. We can add image filters to these, as you can see. And in Mayfair, we can also enable an image shadow. I'm selecting these just so it's easier for you guys to see. And we can also change the color of the shadow. This actually looks kind of cool, uh, like bars of soap. And we can also uh, um, add padding and margins. It's just standard stuff. And we can save this as default as a template if we wanted to keep certain styles for our uh, block here. So next time we bring it in, it's going to have these um, design, design style cues, whatever we customize it to. And under further advanced settings, we have HTML anchor and additional CSS classes. So let's go ahead and click on publish to save our work and take a look at this on our live site. Okay, with that done saving, let's click on view on live site. And here we have our image gallery. And you can see um, lazy loading is indeed enabled. And you can see we have our images with the captions on them. So there's the a quick look at the gallery block in Cadence in WordPress. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.